so I have downloaded what I um, need to use. Just give me one moment. Okay, so I have my files that I need to rec that I need to um, remove the background out of, and they're pretty good images. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go to remove.bg, and we're just gonna upload the image. And it gave us a clean cut. And of course you could do this inside of Photoshop as well. But it's much much easier just to go ahead and go to um remove.bg and I mean you'll get a clean background removal. And you know, there are definitely pretty um there are others there are other softwares as well. Alright, I don't know what that is. We're gonna download that. And then we're going to do the last one. Now for this person, their school colors are purple and gold. So we can exit out of there. And, okay, so this person's name is Xander. School colors are purple and gold. And the school name is Swansea High School. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to first pull up our letters that we're going to be using, which is going to be the varsity. So go to text. And this is probably going to be a font that's not literally directed onto your um, onto your Photoshop. So you will have to most likely go to dafont.com. That's D-A-F-O-N-T dot com. And you would just download the varsity team font so we're going to click right here into the text and of course you would need to adjust your uh oh i didn't mean to press that you would adjust your um I'm trying to figure out how to move this out the way. Oh, okay. Just move it down here a little bit. I might be moving over here. Okay. All right. So we're going to adjust our font size to 102. And of course, we can move it back. So it's going to be 20. Enter 22. Now it's showing that it's so far apart. So you're going to press that there, check, and you're going to click right here, which is your toggle for the character and the um, paragraph. Make sure that you, oops, I don't know. Make sure that you got it all highlighted. You're going to go right here and get it to where you need it to be so it says 72 that's the biggest that you could press so you, what you're going to do is you're going to just play around with the numbers you could manually type it in so 92 still not where we want it to be 82 still not so let's just go with maybe like 75 and you see that it's a little closer together so we're going to press the check mark Control t on your computer all right control t on your computer and this is going to pop up here and with that being said you're able to stretch it out how you want to and it gets bigger and everything is still in order make it as big as you need to you can adjust the size like in out over and with it this big, we can go back in and we can 
move the sizing in if we wanted to. So say you wanted your letters to be closer together, you go to this one here with the T. So you could press like 60 and you see the letters are coming in closer together. Sorry, they're numbers actually, but this is just adjusting the, um, basically like the width of it. So then you'll do this one here with the VA and you see they're getting closer together. And that is very close. So we can do like 75, just, I mean, 70% to just give it just a little bit. Now your, your letters, well, I keep on saying letters, sorry, y'all. <laughs> the numbers are black here. So you can change them if you wanted to. But what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to FX at the bottom. All right, we're going to go to FX right here and click on stroke just to give it a background and your layer styles is going to pull up of course you can move it out the way so you can see it on the screen as i stated before that the colors are purple and gold so we're gonna follow purple and just to make sure that you get the accurate sizes you can go on google and type in uh, color code generator and for this goal, I literally just went into the other screen and um, used my dropper and I did that. So you can adjust this here, your sizes. Now I always bevel and emboss and that gives you, gives it a better look. I didn't do that on the other ones, but I'm showing y'all how to do this here. You can adjust, you can go there to bevel and emboss. Your style is going to be embossed and that will give the numbers just a little bit of, um, 3d look it will give like a 3d look and you can adjust that play around with it whichever way now you see that 2022 if you don't like how it look you can always go back in and adjust it you can make this a little smaller if you wanted to press ok now say we wanted to move this out just a little bit more so it could give it some more space like that which that looks that looks okay or you could go even further out, whichever way. Now, the ones that I did for the fan, I did um, make them just a little bit smaller. Okay. So, I'm just showing you how to actually get the words preset. So, let's move this up. Uh-oh. Let's just move this up a little bit. And then we're going to go right up under it and we're going to type in Xander because that's his name. X-A-N-D-R. And let me just make this a little bit smaller. And remember, if you ever want to adjust the size, just control T and it'll pull it up right there. and You'll be able to adjust it how you want. Now his name is Xander, so what we're going to do is we're going to take that, we're going to control T just to bring that size over some more. And you could position it to where you want to position it. Of course, it needs to be like in the middle, you can make it bigger, whichever way. Then I go to FX at the bottom again, put a stroke around it just to give it a little, mm. and you could, of course, move this down smaller so that that could be a little smaller. You add a double stroke. It's all about how you want it to look. You could add three outlines if you want. And then you could go back here and add in an additional, say we did like a little white in between it, maybe made it about three. Well, yeah. And then I'm going to go up here and make this a little smaller just so you can see it. But now you can see all three of them. So then we're going to emboss it. And then again, you can play around with it. If you don't like it, you know, you can remove the emboss. It's just all about what you want to go with, literally. You can always add a drop shadow, all type of stuff. Press OK. So now we have our fan. 
we're going to go to our files and what we're going to do is you can of course go to file and go to place M. Click on the image that you need and then it's in there. Now where we're going to do is size it to where we want it to be. We could put this one right here. Just make it a little smaller so that his head can be seen. And that's what we're going to go with. We're going to right click it. We're going to right click the image. Okay. Oh, my computer wants to act funny now that I'm recording. course is that's funny <laughs> all right so you're gonna right click it I don't know where this thing has to be right now and create a clipping mask I'm sorry I don't know why my computer want to act funny today Make sure that the image is above the 2022 before you create the clipping mask. So do that and create clipping mask. Now you can use your tool at the top where you can move it around your hand tool, move tool, and you can move the image. If you don't want it in that spot, you can move it through. So of course you can control T again to adjust and you can have it going through the whole 2022 if you want to. But of course, we're going to put it somewhere that makes sense. With his face showing. Put it over here. All right, then we're going to place the other one in. Okay, so we have this picture in the background, and of course, you can move it around how you want. Um, just if you want to edit it, we're going to go to File and no, I'm sorry. We're going to go to edit so that we can, hold on, sorry, image brightness. And you could brighten up the image if you want, um, 22, whichever way, just to brighten it up a little bit. And it's all up to the person that you're making it for. If they even want the image hiding like that whichever way, um, whatever looks best to them. So then we're gonna go to place M again, and we're gonna bring in our next image. Sorry, my daughter's back there crying. And this is a really good image. Now this one, we could keep this on the outside. Let me see, I don't really wanna cover up the 22 because of course you wanna, you want to um, let it be known what it is, that it's actually even a two. So this can go like right here without even clipping it. And we're going to save that. 
Now what we're going to do with this one, we're going to add a little drop shadow on it. Go to FX. Go to drop shadow. And you could do, and of course your layer style is going to pull up. You can do black, white, whatever color it is that you want. Um, white, and as you can see, it's going to be changing. So like purple, gold, a little bit of gold. I'm going to do gold. And you could change the opacity, the distance of it, the spread of it, size, just like a little something extra to make it pop. And then we're going to go to image again. We're going to brighten this image just to make sure that once it prints, it gives you a really good quality. And you see how that brightened up. And you, of course, you just play around with these numbers. Just see what's going to work for you. So then we're going to add in our last image. And, and of course, it's all up to you how many images you want to add in. Okay, so depending on what cutting machine that you're cutting with, you uh, most likely are going to still have the white pieces in the back. And you can obviously go down and add in the back part of it. Just add a layer. And I always have just a, um, always have just a white square on my, um, okay. So now I'm actually going to print out our design. And once we print out our design, um, what I do is I print it out. Um, well, actually I download it and then I load it so that I could print it out as a PDF so that I could just get the best quality. I usually use Adobe PDF. And I'm going to be using my HP OfficeJet Pro 8610. Plain paper. Okay. For me, that always works. It always gives me the best quality print. And I'm going to print it. This is the paper that I use. Most people use cardstock. Um, I do use cardstock, but I use the Hammer Mill um, Premium Color Copy. And that works out really good for me. The um, laminate paper that I use is on Amazon. So let me just get one thing. And of course, you can use any size laminate, but it depends on the laminate machine that you have. So the laminate machine that I have is the Fellows on Amazon, and it it can go up to 10 mil, which is the thickness of the laminate. And I love it. So let's get our image. And I actually didn't <laughs> size it correctly. Got it small. So I need to reprint that. Let's see. Okay. And this is doing this letter. And I'm going to print it. I'm going to reprint it. Let's see. Oh, there's no paper. Let's see. And I have a few printers, but I do like the HP printers because of the HP Instant Ink. They send you ink before you even run out. And I mean, that's amazing. 
So now we're just waiting on that. And I use double screen, so it might look like I'm looking at y'all are trying to figure out what I'm looking at. <laughs> but I have to use two, two screens or I would go crazy. So. And let me turn on my limited machine. And of course, you have to wait for it to warm up. I'm laying on it to be right now. Also, for more tutorials, um, make sure that you subscribe and make sure that you follow our Facebook group. I'm going to link it below. So this is the print here. And then you'll put it in you'll put it inside your laminate pouch and then you just let it go through. I'll just slide it through now. I don't even waste my time using the cricket because the cricket usually chops up the paper and I don't have time for that, especially with how many um, fans or projects that I'm working on. It just makes sense to hand cut it. Now I do have a graph tech machine, which that could cut it really good, but I haven't set it back up yet since we moved. And I've been cleaning our, my crying home all day. Literally, it's been cleaning everything and throwing stuff away. So, I've been working on that. Let me see. Okay. Just lemonade. You can almost hear how thick that is. It's pretty thick. Ouch. <laughs> and of course, you just cut it out. And again, you can use your cutter if you want to. But of course, as you know, Cricut has a, a limit on um, the size that you can cut. I do know a few people that use the silhouette and have issues with the um, printer cut. But I mean, what what may work for you might not work for someone else. So you just try it out and see what works best for you for the most part. And it's a little easier to cut the laminate when you have 3M or 5M, which is not as thick. So they may be a little flimsy, but um, this one is a little harder because it's like the 10M. So the thickness is um, it's pretty thick. And you just cut around, or if you want to have a out a white outline, whichever way you could cut it. Like I said, what works best for you is what you go with. And you just cut it. I said that I was gonna set my graph tech back up. I'm sure this would cut out a lot easier on a graph tape. It's like, um, I think it's like 17 inches wide or something like that. I haven't used it in a while. And that's just a vinyl cutter as well, signed vinyl, all type of stuff. All right. You could cut in the cracks if you want to. Like I said, it's up to you because you can have the outline if need be. And I'm just gonna cut this piece here.
and I do apologize. I left my sticks and my glue gun downstairs. But you get the point. So here's the finished project. Pretty hard, pretty glossy. Some people do do double-sided, but I, I I just went ahead and did one-sided. And there's a little glare on there, but, you know, still, it looks pretty good. Looks really nice to me. The, the quality of the print is pretty good also. And what you would do is, I mean, you can use double-sided tape, whatever you like. But I used uh, the super glue gum, the gor Gorilla Glue sticks. And just put it on the back of the stick. And it's a pretty thick stick. And you just stick it right on the back. Thank you guys for tuning in. Let me know if you have any other questions. I will drop some links below.